Welcome to our final words. I'm Economicon, and this is our captain's farewell. To Commander James Thorne, I received your demands last week. Since this might be my last letter to you in a while, I hope that my words are clear, despite their brevity. I won't accept you keeping my son in prison for something he has not done. Captain, the enemy shot a hole in our ship. What are your orders? I mean, fixing the hole is probably a good idea, right? It just, it doesn't really feel worth it if they're going to keep firing more holes into the ship. I mean, we could just fire at the enemy, see if we can scare them off. Aye, Captain. I'm assuming we're not completely outmatched, right? My son may have his faults, and I'm most likely to blame for that. But you're not spotless yourself either. Wasn't it you who had the honour of watching over the governor's house? I know where you were that night, and it sure wasn't at your post. I'm going to assume the governor's house was like burnt down or something when he was supposed to be watching then. Or maybe the governor was assassinated. Captain, our ship is sinking and our lifeboats are damaged. I may have made a wrong call. What are your orders? Um... Well, the way I see it, lifeboats are damaged. I'm already injured and my blood's only fit to go by. We might as well just go down with the ship, right? And take as many people as we can with us. I say we ram our ship into the enemy. Aye, Captain. Oh, I've got a loyal crew. I made sure that the evidence of your affairs we found soon. In fact, this letter might not reach you in time before your arrest. I might never be able to see my son again. But I'll relish the thought of you rotting away. If they manage to bring this letter to you in jail, I hope you got the portside cell. It has the least amount of sunlight. Oh, have I spent a lot of time in those cells to know that? See you in hell, Jane. Port Concilia News, it's June 6th, 1707. The Governor's Frigate Morning Glory clashed with the private captain Jane Silver Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, at Santa Bay. After a brutal battle, both ships were destroyed and Jane Silver was gone with her ship. Commander James Thorne has been arrested for treason. A public trial will be held at noon. Ending 5. The cut of his jib. But wait, what happened? What happened to our son? I'm assuming he got released? I mean, if he, he didn't actually do the crime, right? I'm assuming he got arrested for basically an association of us. I'm sure he'll be fine. And you know what? I regret nothing. If I was going to die, I was going to take as many people as I could with me. Okay, we, we've kept on firing at the enemies, so um, we're in the same situation. But you know what? I am going to be an honourable captain. First mate, I'm assuming that's who you are. You have served me loyally. Take my boat. Aye, Captain. You have hurt me, as I've hurt you. I guess that makes us even. I've arranged my son's release. Don't bother looking for him. He'll be far outside your reach. Oh, that's reassuring to know. I'm assuming we did that in our other ending as well. As a parting gift, I'll keep your misconducts a secret. It might sound strange, but I'd rather have my last memory of us be a good one. Sincerely, Jane. Oh, we've got history with James Thorne. The Governor's Frigate Morning Glory clashed with the Pirate Captain Jane Silver Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, at Santo Bay. After a brutal battle, the pirate ship was destroyed, and Jane Silver was gone with her ship. The governor has pardoned the erroneously imprisoned Fair Jack. But when opened for his release, his cell was found empty. The governor's diamonds have been returned, so his pardon still stands. Wait, D do we think Thorne set up our son then to take the blame for the diamonds? Did he steal them just to frame him? But I found ending three. You know what? There's only one true answer. After I've got our ship destroyed by continuing to fire at the enemy. And that's every man for themselves. Aye, Captain. 
You know what? I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about your lies. I don't give a damn about your infidelity or your threats. You can fix this mess all by yourself. I'm through with trying to hold this ship together. Done with you, Jane. The Governor's Frigate Morning Glory clashed with the pirate Captain Jane Silver Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, at Santo Bay. After a brutal battle, the pirate ship was destroyed and Jane Silver was shot dead while abandoning her sinking ship. Commander James Thorne has been suspended from his post after Fair Jack claimed he's his father. You know what? That makes sense. So I'm guessing we're one of the people James had an affair with. Further investigation is being done concerning the commander's relationship with the pirate. Ending four. Jetsam. Okay, let's try and see if we can actually bring this ship out unscathed. I still don't think fixing the hole is going to help much. I mean, like I said, we can still hear them firing at us. Why don't we just try to evade the enemy instead? Aye, oh, Captain. Sure, my son might be a bit too nosy for his own good, but he's not an idiot. He might cut a purse now and then, but he wouldn't steal the governor's diamonds. Captain, our ship is heading to the shallows. That can't be good. What are your orders? <laughs> well, we could just ram our ship to the enemy again, but let's face it, that didn't really work. Um, do you know what? Let's try and be sneaky. Lure the enemy to the shallows as well. Aye, Captain. Listen, if I'm going to beach my own ship, let's make sure both ships get beached. I saw you with the governor's wife that night. Yes, I was there. I crept into the treasury while you were fooling around with your life. How could you? I gave you a chance to apologize, but you chose to threaten me instead. You have left me no choice. I'm sorry. I won't be there to see you drop. With regret. Jane. The governor's wife, god damn. The governor's frigate, Morning Glory, chased the pirate Captain Jane Silver Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, near the Vuguenza Shallows. After a brutal battle, both ships were shipwrecked at the Shallows, and Jane Silver was gone with her ship. Commander James Thorne has been arrested for assaulting the governor's wife. A public trial will be held at noon. Were you trying to silence the only remaining witness of your affair? I mean, it's smart, but goddamn, you're not sneaky, are you, buddy? Ending six. Floatsome. You know what? At least we beached the other ship as well. Okay, I didn't quite get the ship out intact, but, um, parlay? Aye, Captain. Please, for all that is good in you, spare my son. Jack is the light of my life, and no treasure is worth more than him. I will find the diamonds and bring them back to you. Just let my son go free, safe and sound. Yours, Jane. I mean, come on now, buddy, he's your son as well. The Governor's Frigate Morning Glory chased the pirate Captain Jane Silver Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, near the Vuguenza Shallows. After a brutal battle, the pirates hoisted the white flag, and Jane Silver was captured. I'm going to be hung, aren't I? She revealed the location of the diamonds to Commander James Thorne in exchange for the freedom of Fair Jack. A public execution will be held at dawn. Yeah, I'm getting hung. The diamond thief, Fair Jack, will stand trial later. That was not the agreement. You swine! I mean, why am I surprised? You just tried to murder the governor's wife just to hide your affair. God damn, I, I wasn't a very good parent. Well, we're really scraping the barrel there. Okay, well, you know what? I've exhausted my other options. Let's fix the hole. Aye, Captain. 
I have not been entirely honest with you, which you must know by now. It was my crew who broke into the governor's house that night. My son had nothing to do with that. Captain, the enemy is boarding our ship. What are your orders? Ah, oh, well, this wasn't very smart. Fight back? Aye, Captain. I stole the diamonds, I admit. But my son is innocent. To hell with your demands. If you harm him, I will hunt you down. From the grave if I have to. Your enemy, Jane. The governor's frigate Morning Glory clashed with the pirate Captain Jane Silver's Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, at Santa Bay. After a brutal battle, the pirates were successfully defeated and Jane Silver was killed. The thief, Fair Jack, was executed at the behest of Commander James Thorne. Soon after, the commander took asylum in the church, claiming his house had an invisible intruder. You're too right it does. I'm going to haunt your ass. On several inspections, no strange persons have been found on the premises. I'm going to drive you insane until you die, mate. That's what you get for killing our son. I'm a... Oh, who's the loose cannon here? Is it me or you? So I'm guessing that actually trying to commit parley after fixing the hole is going to give us a different ending. I should probably go back then and... Um, do the same option for going to the shallows, right? Okay, let's first parley. Aye, Captain. I mean, you already bought my ship. Feels like a, a reasonable idea just to talk it out at this point. I am ready to face the judge, but Jack must go free. He likes you. Can you imagine? Raised by a pirate, and yet he still looks up to the commander of the watch. It seems the old proverb of the blood being thicker than water rings true. I should have told you years ago. But you became a commander, and I had my crew just assembled with Jack on my bosom. I wish you will take good care of him. No, he's going to see him hung as well. We should not trust him. If not for me, then for the good moments we once shared. With love, Jane. Aston is going to die as well. The governor's brigade, Morning Glory clashed with the pirate Captain Jane Silver Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, at Santo Bay. After a brutal battle, the pirates hoisted the white flag, and Jane Silver was captured. However, at three in the morning, an alarm was sounded, for Jane Silver and the diamond thief, Fair Jack, had vanished from their cells. Commander James Thorne had left a letter of resignation on his desk, so it suspected that he had them abscond. Oh! Maybe I misjudged you a little bit, James. I mean... Nah, I, I still think you're an awful person. But I suppose we can go play happy families. They have yet to be found. Bottoms up. Okay, so we've bathed the ship and then ram our ship. You know, I don't think there's any option that is going to get this ship out in one piece. But let's face it, because at this point I've still got holes probably quite a few of them that have not patched up. Let's just ram the ship. Aye, Captain. You may think you have all the best cards in your sleeve, but you're wrong. While you chased bloomers downtown, I spent some time acquiring myself with your men. Turns out, their loyalty can be easily swayed with some well-placed kisses and gold-lined pockets. By the time this letter reaches you, my son will be well on his way, and you'll be sorry. Always the better player, Jane. The governor's frigate, Morning Glory, chased the pirate Captain Jane Silver Bryce's brig, Cutlass Rose, near the Verguenza Shallows. After a brutal battle, both ships were destroyed, and Jane Silver was gone with her ship. Jane Silver's accomplice, Fair Jack, escaped from jail before dawn, with the help of an unknown party. They have yet to be found. Ending 7. Make waves. You know what? I may have got myself killed again. But at least my son goes free. The only sad thing is, 
we stole the diamonds, right? So they're probably on board our ship. So the, the diamonds go to the bottom of the ocean as well. Ah, oh, damn. I wanted to leave them for my son. You know what? I think I made a fair captain. I mean, I think I saved some of my crew. Maybe in one of the endings. If you enjoyed your time here, I'd really appreciate you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Would have known it was a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.